वेलकम टू गेट प्रिपरेशन टुडे वी विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवेन फ्रॉम गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन एज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट एम फॉर्म इन द फॉलोइंग रिएक्शन इज सो हेयर दिस साइक्लिक वन फाइव डाइन इज ट्रीटेड विथ वन इक्वेलेंट ऑफ हाइड्रोजिन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट एंड ऑक्सीजन Before moving to the solution part, let's have a look at the basic concept behind this question. So, as you have seen, the question contains hydrogen, copper sulphate, and oxygen. So, in presence of copper sulphate and oxygen, hydrogen can undergo oxidation, and it will produce this diamide. So, this is called diamide. So, what are the important features of this diamide reagent? Diamide is also known as diazine, which is a reducing reagent, which could be generated in situ through, as we have seen here, oxidation of hydrazine or decarboxylation of azo dicarboxylates. It basically reduces symmetrical double bonds. such as c double bond c n double bond n etc now the reduction involves a concerted hydrogen transfer so this concerted hydrogen transfer happens through a cyclic transition state so how does it look suppose we have this alkene functionality and now we are going to treat this with this diamide so what can happen can take a proton so now if we draw the transition state it will look like so this is the six membered cyclic transition state from here we will get the hydrogenated product like this and we will get this n triple bond n so this is basically nitrogen so in this hydrogenation process we will always get nitrogen as a by product now based on the functionalities present in any substrate reactivity of the substrate towards this hydrogenation process could be different so if we see the order of reactivity it looks like alkynes and alenes undergo hydrogenation faster than terminal or strained alkenes followed by trans and cis alkenes so let's see few examples when this bridged bicyclic alkene is treated with potassium azo dicarboxylate in presence of acetic acid in dcm so here it will uh, generate the diamide reagent so this diamide now can reduce this alkene so we will get this saturated product next if we treat this compound with hydrazine hydrogen peroxide in acetic acid medium so now here also uh, it can undergo oxidation and it will generate the diamide reagent now this diamide can reduce either this alkene or this alkene but as you have mentioned terminal alkenes undergoes reaction faster than internal alkene so selectively it will reduce this terminal alkene and we will get this corresponding hydrogenated product so with this basic information let's move to the solution part so the question is given as uh, this cyclic diene and uh, then one equivalent of hydrazine and copper sulfate and oxygen 
so here also at first dimide will be generated and now this dimide can hydrogenate either this alkene or this alkene so you see this is a cis alkene and this is trans alkene but as we have mentioned trans alkenes undergo hydrogenation faster than cis alkene so here selectively this alkene will be reduced and as only one equivalent is given so there is no possibility of further reduction of this cis alkene so the final product will be this cyclic alkene product So now if we look at the options here the cis alkene is reduced so this is wrong similarly here both alkenes are reduced this is also wrong and here both alkenes are reduced as well as cyclization happens so this is also wrong so this is the option b is the correct option and to learn further uh, about this reagent you can follow this nptel lecture video uh, titled reduction with borens dimide and trialkyl sealants by professor subhash chandra pan department of chemistry iit guwahati the youtube video link is given here and thank you for watching